Hello and a huge welcome to this video. I'm ABQ from How to Do, and this is the third part for our GTA series. So this is the main part of our GTA series. Series. Uh, in this video, you will be learning how to make the car system, how to enter that car, and how to exit that car. So in the previous video, we were able to make this. If you haven't seen the previous videos, go ahead, click the link in the description box below, and see them first. Alright, so we were able to look around using the mouse, we can walk around and we can also run around. We can climb the stairs and also jump down. Alright, so this is what we made in the previous videos. So in, the, in this video we will of course add a car and add, uh, you know, add a enter and exit system. So if you have your own car, that's good, but if you don't have it, not to worry, you have uh, the standard assets. Uh, the unity provides you with these standard assets if you go ahead click the uh, right click imp import package and you will see these packages these are the standard assets if you don't have these go ahead and you can also search in the asset store or you can also download them from unity download assistant all right and let me see if i can show you uh, downloads unity download assistant all right this one yes uh, next and here you will just uh, just do that and leave the standard assets and next and the standard assets will be automatically you know uh, downloaded to your unity alright so after doing that go ahead right click import package and you want to import the vehicles and just click that and import everything and you will be able to see this folder go to that folder uh, okay so yeah these folders go to vehicles car and then prefabs and here you will see this car and drag and drop it over here and there you go this is the standard assets car hey hey delete it <laughs> alright so this is the standard assets car it's not much beautiful because it's all gray you can see these are textures right here the unity made it gray I don't know why because it's standard assets I don't know but yeah yeah it works properly so let me just show you yeah you can just control it through WASD you can see that <laughs> I'm getting a feel of Watch Dogs 2 that I'm hacking that car and controlling it. As you know, the person himself looks like Watch Dogs 2 character and he's controlling the car through hacking. <laughs> so you can see the car is pretty much doing the good stuff. Alright. So now first thing, we want this car to not to move. Alright, so how to do that? pretty simple go to the car and you will see these scripts <coughs> three scripts sorry three scripts and when you disable these scripts you will see that the car will not move at all all right so this is what we want to do but not manually we want to do this from the you know playmaker so if you if you don't have playmaker go ahead click the link in the description box below download it import it install it and you will see able to see this fsm all right FSM playmaker FSM uh, go ahead and download that first so edit and now what we want to do is we want to simply go ahead and drag and drop the scripts we want to disable we want to set them hey we want to set the property hey what's happening uh, wait a second uh, drag it set property so it's having some problems so go ahead and type in the actions here you can see the action browser type in set property double click that uh, I don't know why it's not happening sometimes it happens All right, so drag and drop the script in here and then uh, go to enable property enable and just uh, this this check mark says that if it's uh, enabled or disabled so we want to disable to we don't have to check this mark every frame yeah so just copy it and just do that Control C V, and there we go the three scripts are disabled now alright 
so the car will not move there we go all right so the car is not moving because all of these scripts are disabled you can see over here so next thing we want to detect that whether the player is near the doors of the car near the doors of the car if he is then we have to allow him to enter the car so how to do that how to detect that whether the player is in uh, near the doors or not simple we have to just go ahead and say box collider there we go uh, where's the box collider uh, let me just go to side view pull him up sorry pull him up uh, extend him from the X little from the Z a little more so I'm just putting this box collider near the doors All right you can see this box collider is near the doors and little extended out alright so you have to do that and then make sure you check mark this is trigger so what is a trigger Trigger is basically uh, allows your box collider to not be a uh, collider so you can walk around this uh, this box collider let me just show you so you cannot collide with this as you can see I am just uh, walking through that collider however this uh, trigger thing uh, just allows us to see whether the uh, player is hitting uh, or is inside the box or not all right so it just gives us the, the uh, information so it's kind of a detector it detects whether the player is inside or not so we want to use that let's just go to the FSM again and say trigger event there we go trigger event and it asks the collider tag so we want to set that tag go to watchdogs character and make sure go to tags and make sure that your uh, character is in on the player tag all right there we go sorry for the delay and then go to car and say player on trigger enter which means when the uh, player get inside that trigger box then uh, and it should be player then go to an event that event will be uh, drive button drive button all right let me just go ahead add transition drive button add new state do that there we go take both of them take it over here all right so what's happening we are saying that uh, disable of all of these scripts and then go if the player enters this box then go to this state in this state we want to see uh, we want to give the uh, player an opportunity to get inside the car so how we do that we will get it we will get input from the user it is uh, it is said and get button down which means if the player is pressing a button and we want to set a new button I have already set the button because uh, I was just trying to make it sure it does not why it does it does works uh, so you have to go to edit project settings input and there uh, in yours it will be 18 right let me just so in yours uh, in your input something like that uh, it will be 18 input manager in yours input manager it will be 18 and then you have to just make it 19 so you get an extra button over here uh, let's just call it enter for the sake of the name and you can set the name uh, and set the button which you want like a b c or whatever uh, I I I will just make it E and pull off this E because I want E to be the button for the enter. Okay. So the, let's just enter the name. It's enter event to drive. So if the button, if the player and uh, presses the button enter, which is E, then go to drive, uh, transition, drive, new state, and there. However, just Control C, Control V. If the player gets out of the uh, trigger, which is on trigger exit, go back 
finished. No, sorry, sorry. Finished, go back and finished. Alright, so if the player gets out of the box, then we will go back over here. And if the player enters uh, the presses the button, we will go over here. So let's see if it's working or not. So here I am. Here I am. If I go close to the doors, you will see over here the state changes. And if I press E, the state goes in here. All right, so it's properly working. So in this state, we want to enable all of these properties. So let's just go copy, paste, and enable all of them. So the car will be able to 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 do to uh, sorry to drive. Here you can see the car is moving. However, our character is also moving, so we want to fix that first. So we want to disable our character while he is sitting inside the car. So how we'll do that? We will just go ahead and say activate game object, and it will be our player. Or one thing we can do is actually we can make a whole package uh, go to the player say create empty call it player base pull it out pull the sorry camera base and the watchdogs character inside the player base and then you will see that this is a whole package in which the uh, the player also moves and the camera also moves alright so we want to disable them so the camera and the player also disables so we want to make a player package <coughs> sorry so in here what we want to do is we want to just drag and drop our players base uh, where is it oh, okay sorry so you have to change its specify game object and it will be player base and activate means it's enabled and uh, this means disabled so we want to disable it I don't know what it means <laughs> um, but yeah let's let's just let it go so the camera will also disappear so we want another camera to be here like you will see that uh, if we get inside press E then display render no camera because there is no camera left so we want another camera uh, we can do that by going to the uh, right click import package and then cameras because there is a really awesome camera for the cars and I want to use that it won't take much time there we go standard assets and you will see the cameras cameras prefabs and it is the multi-purpose camera drag and drop it over here uh, kind of like here then we can set we can set it there we go and go to your car first and make sure it's untagged go to player back uh, this multi-purpose camera and drag and drop your car onto the target just uncheck that uh, follow velocity do that uh, move speed should be six or six turn speed three roll speed and all that's okay that's okay then go back to your car edit and copy and paste and drag and drop your multi-purpose camera over here and make sure it's enabled all right so you will see now that uh, so you will see now that the the player moves around and when we get inside this this happens so the multi-purpose camera is enabled and all that and then the player is disabled
alright so it's working properly however we cannot get out so we want that to happen car uh, copy this uh, get button down the same one minimize all of them paste enter and then go to get out of the car so get out get out of the car <coughs> so add transition get out of the car new state get out in here we want all of them to be disabled so copy paste disable 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 alright so the car will stop moving and then copy these two so we want our player to be enabled and the multi-purpose camera to be disabled okay and then we can go uh, next frame event which means after executing all of these actions go to finished finished there we go so that's it uh, however there will be a problem you will see uh, when we get inside you will see that it moves okay all right and we are when we get out of the car the player is still standing there so he hasn't actually moved so we want we want to our character to move along with the car all right so we want to do that first you go to the car and while he's driving we want to say set uh, parent all right set parent specify game object player base to be parent of the car so while he's driving he will be the parented to be the car all right and then copy paste make sure it's uh, so make sure your all of the actions to be executed are on the top of this next frame event because I don't think so that they will be um, executed if air they are in the bottom of that because this will execute be first and then they will go to the state so make sure that and in this state we want don't want anything to be parent of this player so we will go say none all right so none there we go and then he will go to finished go back and there and that will do it now the next thing I, I guess so it's it's okay oh come on so we can walk around run around and get inside the car drive around that's <laughs> good drifting and when we get out he will be just by the side of the car so that's it because you enjoyed my video if you did then subscribe to my channel which is how to do you can also donate me some money through paypal the link will be in the description box below and please like and subscribe to my channel and you can see this car is not looking too much beautiful so in the next video we will see how to change the mesh of this car all right so stay tuned hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in my next video